factory, they had a very small turbocharger, no intercooler, so when the turbo gets hot, This is Mad Matt from Budget Boosting. Today we got a nice sunny day, so what a great opportunity to do a valve rocker arm adjustment job on an L28 from a 1978 280Z. It's got an L28 inline six, and it has solid lifters, unlike a lot of the engines that have hydraulic lifters. Hydraulic lifters are very easy to adjust. Solid lifters, you have to be dead exact why I have a feeler gauge right here. That's one of the tools you need. You got 0 0.010 intake, 0 0.012 on the exhaust valves. And you need your wrenches to loosen the brake nut. And you need another wrench to adjust the adjustment nut. Because as you adjust, you have to get it to right where the feeler gauge goes in and out just right, with just a right amount of pressure, but not too much, not too little. But I'll get into that when we get going here. First off, first thing I did is Take off the valve cover, because you need to adjust your rocker arms on your overhead cam. There's the valve cover. Second, in order to turn over the engine nice and smooth, we removed all the spark plugs. Perfect opportunity to inspect your spark plugs. You know, see what your burn is. Kind of a light tannish rust kind of color is a normal burn. That's what you're looking for. A nice normal burn to get optimized in performance and fuel efficiency, getting them both at once. All right, well, we're going to pause. Well, actually, here's what you need to do while you're doing your valve adjustments because there's 12 valves, six intakes, six exhaust valves on L28 inline six. So we got it all organized here because there's so many lobes and everything. Like, for example, one's going to be ready and number six. So it's basically going to be, you're going to be shuffling around different, doing different rocker arm adjustments at a time. So to keep track, as we do an intake and exhaust valve, we're going to check them off on the check block until we got all 12 valves done. That's so you can keep track of what you're doing because you start turning over your engine and everything, you're going to find out, okay, I can do, because the lobe's pointed in the up position, that's when you can take your measurement. And this is an exhaust valve, so for example, it'll be a 12. See how that's tight right there? It won't go in? That valve needs adjustment. That rocker arm needs adjustment to get the proper clearance. And that's why the engine could be running so much better. See, we can do like number one exhaust, number two intake. Look at that, won't go in. So the valves are way off adjustment. We're gonna have to adjust them. And the other one we could probably do here is number six intake. Won't even go in. So uh, just goes to show you, they, they kind of mix and match as you adjust the cam. So we have to check them off as we go. So one exhaust and two intake are done. Next ones we're going to go for, these ones look like they're next. Got number four intake and exhaust. Actually, no. <laughs> Two, three, four, four intake and five exhaust. Four intake and five exhaust. Those will be next on the adjustment here so we adjust till we start seeing these ones just up and past okay Let's see if there's another one right where I want it which there isn't so we're gonna go for these two next the trick is first you loosen the jam nut which is this big nut down here you loosen that up oh. it's usually pretty tight okay Loosen that up. Turn this loosening, lefty loosey, righty tighty. So we turn this loose enough to get the feeler gauge in there. Since this is an intake one, it's a 10. And this one's pretty tight, so we're gonna have to loosen quite a bit. There we go. 10 fits in. get right where the feeler gauge goes in and out not really loose but not really tight just a snug a snug feeling I could go 
it just a hair tighter. Just a hair. Going in the very tiny adjustments make a big difference when you're going tight. So just a slight movement tightens it up. And you're moving the feeler gauge at the same time as making the adjustment so you get it not too tight, not too loose. Oops, that's too tight, see? One little motion makes it too tight. So hold it right there. That's just right. And snuck it. Put the tan in there one more time for good luck. Good snug. Okay, next we'll do five exhaust. So it goes right with the runners. The intake runners are the intake valves. The exhaust runners are the exhaust valves. They just line up right up with the inline six. Intake, intake, exhaust, exhaust, intake, exhaust, exhaust, intake, exhaust, intake, intake, and exhaust. It's nice how simple these inline sixes are. I prefer them to so many other engines. Okay, number five exhaust. Break the jam nut, the holding nut. Need a more narrow 17, the 17 is too fat. All right, and for those ones, there's not a lot of clearance right here by these head bolts. See, when I'm loosening this thing, there's not a lot of room, so I actually have a wrench that I shaved down just for this purpose. I shaved some material on so I have more room on those holding nuts close to the head bolts like this one here I need just a little bit more room to break that loose and that just gave me just enough room then I can go back and do that so now the jam nuts loose it's an exhaust so it's a 0 0.012 for exhaust and of course it's too tight so I have to adjust it in the loosening position okay that's just enough tighten it a hair too tight too loose Feeler gauge back in. Oh, just right. Put that right in place. Ooh, too tight. It's too tight, just gotta loosen it a bit. Make an adjustment and tighten it again. Just finished the last adjustment, intake on number six. And as you can tell, it just has to be just, just tight, but not really tight, not really loose, just snug. And that's what you do with every intake and exhaust valve. Save yourself about $180. Because most shops, if they're gonna take an hour, hour and a half to do this, because it takes a lot of time and persistence, and you have to be dead on with your measurements, because they are solid lifters, there's no play, no give and your engine will run like crap if you don't do it. I mean, you will lose compression if your valves don't perfectly seat. So you, ha you have to be exact on your measurements. And as you can see, we checked off all our uh, intake and exhaust valves, so we're all done. I didn't show you every single intake and exhaust valve because you'd probably be here for an hour watching me do this because it's such a finite, exact adjustment. And that's about it. So thank you for watching Budget Boosting. If you like us, subscribe to our page, like us on Facebook, like us on YouTube, and remember, all this stuff, knowledge is power, it's horsepower. I set it right on the side over here. Make sure it ain't green and fast. Now, there we go.
Draining pretty quick. Ooh, that looked nice. Looks like caramel. <laughs> Put that on your ice cream. <laughs>